am a Lawrence High School alumni. I graduated 2007. The first memory I have that comes to mind is when I was asked to sing the national anthem at varsity games for the basketball team. I was asked several times to do it. I'm just like, you know what? I need to capitalize on this. I'm going to charge. That's how I started. You may not know what you want to do now, but try to figure out what specifically you want to learn and study. Pick those classes that are required to get that bachelor's degree or maybe even master's degree. Or if you want to go further, there's tons of resources online that you can look up in regards to the business path and career you want to take. Um, so I highly recommend doing your research, understanding the market that you're trying to tap into, if there's any seminars or workshops you can do around that are um, local, that are helpful, or even online courses are really helpful as well. I had a lot of great mentors growing up in high school. Being that I was specifically focused in the arts, it was mostly in that sector, but I definitely looked up to my parents. They were always entrepreneurial. They owned their own daycare when it first started here in Lawrence. And then I had uncles that owned real estate property. So that was another form of working for yourself and still getting residual income, which I thought was really cool. As far as mentor in business, I really didn't have that. I was just really truly inspired by the things and people around me that were bold enough to start something that they loved and passionate about. And I kind of followed their career paths up until now. Becoming an entrepreneur and working for yourself is very difficult and challenging. And sometimes friends and family may not understand that career path if they didn't go down that path. So I definitely highly recommend you to bet on yourself and trust yourself and your gut. But also having a plan for that strategy. And don't be afraid to ask questions when you find yourself in this process and you're stuck. You know, there's always someone willing out there and helping. You just have to ask those questions. My name is Roberto Duran, the class of 2008, the Business Management and Finance Academy. I'm currently the Work-Based Learning Manager at Lawrence High School. I am also the creator of Rob Duran Sports and a co-host for Sports 360. A lot of it was the support of my family and friends. Um, a little bit in a funny way is them telling me, you talk too much about sports. We don't understand everything you're saying. Um, but definitely put my voice out there to people who are interested in sports and want to hear more about um, baseball in particular. Um, and that's what I did. I just took a took a leap back in 2017, I believe, and just started doing it. Definitely pay attention. Your teachers are a great resource, guidance counselors, principals as well. My biggest advice would be to just not so much focus on one concentration of business because business is such a broad career path. Explore all the options. And then once you get older, you've graduated high school at that point, you'll see what you like the most. It could be marketing, could be... Um, some type of advertisement, maybe accounting. Accounting is a, a great way for you to learn to manage your own money and things like that. So definitely focus in on all the avenues that business has to offer. I did business at UMass Lowell. I transferred to Northern Essex for a couple years, did business there as well. Um, ultimately for my bachelor's and my master's, I also did business. The biggest asset is that they know two languages. And I think that's a huge asset, not just in this community, but globally, honestly. Um, so continue to use that as your biggest strength and your biggest motivator to continue to do great um, in all the things that you do, but in business especially. I am a human resource manager at Redding Cooperative Bank and a Lawrence High School graduate. When I went to school, I found that a lot of people knew right away what they wanted to do, but that was not me. I definitely knew that I loved math, so I thought the right thing to go into school for was math. I went to UMass Lowell first and I said, I think I want to be a math teacher. I did start working at a bank as a part-time teller, and from there I loved it. I loved working at the bank. I loved the concept of helping customers. Going into banking and falling in love with it, I switched over to business. And then I took an opportunity and with the tuition reimbursement, which was great when it came to paying for school. So that's the path that I switched into. So I went into business management. I would say with Latino students, it is so important to identify your value. I think that sometimes we don't identify how valuable we are. Being bilingual is huge. Taking advantage of the resources available without being afraid of doing so. So I think that that's one of the biggest things for me that I learned as a Latina. You have to be proud of who you are and embrace it. Mm -hmm.